YouTube, welcome back and today I have a new tutorial for you guys and um, we are featuring Soren Key again. Uh, you guys can check out his Twitter at Soren Key. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this dialog box right here as you can see. So this is quite simple, this should not take very long. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with a new layer. Go to my shapes tool and go to rounded rectangle tool right here. Up here on fill. You can choose any color you want. You can go white or black. It doesn't really matter. Uh, stroke. You want to make sure you have the first option right here. As for the radius, I think we could go for 20. And I'm just going to create this inside shape first, as you can see. All right, now I'm going to double click right here. And click on this purple. All right, let's right click. Go into blending options right here you want to hit inner shadow make your mode normal opacity 100 choke all the way up distance 0 adjust the size and right here select on this color so now we have this right here you want to make a new layer go back to your right angle tool this time drop the radius down to 10 approximately and we're just going to create a shape inside here like so all right with this we're going to double click and select this color now all right now we're going to go back to the first layer and go back into blending options let's go for a drop shadow my settings are like so angle 90 distance the spread is all the way up as you can see increase the distance and change the color to this nice blue I'm gonna hit ctrl J to copy this layer I'm going to hide the previous I'm gonna right click on this layer and hit convert to smart objects I'm gonna go right click go back into bunny options I'm going to hit stroke change the color to this color Right here. Let's increase that. Um, I'm gonna go for 12. I think it looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to click and hold right here and go to my polygon tool. Make sure your size is 3 because we're going to create a triangle like so. Can double click and select on the same color. And if you hit Control T, you can adjust the size and proportions of the triangle like so all right this looks pretty good to me now let's make the buttons down here you want to go for a new layer go back to your rounded rectangle tool radius can be 10 i think should work fine maybe a bit higher if you want i'm going to right click blending options this time i'm going to go for a gradient overlay with angle at 90 and I think I'm going to go for a green button as opposed to the orange. Um, so something like that. I'm going to go for inner shadow. Color white and overlay. So now we have something like this. I'm going to add a stroke like so and also a drop shadow so my button is a little bit different but that's fine current and below I'm gonna select just gonna place it right here Now we're gonna type some text, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna put yes right here.
and that's going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this helps you make sure to leave a like down below if you guys want more leave a comment as well and i hope to see you guys in the next video Thank you.